An initiative aims to help high school pupils to bridge educational gaps when it comes to maths. Established back in 2016, it's designed to support 80,000 grade 10, 11 and 12 pupils prepare for their exams. Nasi Pisame has this report. OCAF essays nationwide mathematics workshops are pulling in hundreds of learners to its hybrid mathematics workshops. The workshops come in response to a 2016 report from the World Economic Forum, which ranked South Africa 137th out of 139 countries in mathematics and science education. South Africa is right at the bottom there. We're like third last. So since 2016, we have devised this um, intervention to assist learners to improve uh, in mathematics. This holds us in good stead in terms of our younger generation and our younger generation of professionals that would have careers in engineering, IT programming, um, medical science, and STEM and the like. These are the careers of the future. And, and we're also finding that some maths educators are joining this session. They are learning new and innovative means of presenting mathematics as an interesting subject. As the final stretch of the academic year approaches, many of those attending the weekend sessions say they can see the improvements. I think Euclidean geometry and trigonometry is where my problem areas are. And I feel like they are getting better, but I need more practice. For me, practice is watching concept videos and then going through part of the questions until I can't get it wrong. Mr. Koto was doing like a step-by-step -step template. So that's also what I do in my practice. I do a step-by-step -step template and then I'm not so scared of the 10 marks that are given to one question. I feel like getting tutored by different people and also watching a video, a Watching various videos by different people gives you a different way or different methods on how to do one thing. Suhil Baradin of Spine Road High School in Mitchell's Plain, who travels over 25 kilometers to attend these workshops, is optimistic that achieving at least 75% in maths will open doors for his future studies in computer science. Personally, I know that these last few, these last few months, these last two terms are going to be very challenging mentally. I will work hard during the weeks and on the weekends. Within my free time, I'll be on the field, cricket, soccer, playing my sports because I know it's important to keep a balance so you can have a good mental space. A 2022 success story is Roresang Matlaila, a second-year actuarial science student at the University of Cape Town. Matlaila, who is from Pumalanga, improved his maths mark in matric from 85% in June to a perfect 100% in his final exams. I've always wanted to go to greater heights, obviously. That's, that's a wish for many people. And um, the OCOV workshops made it possible. I really liked how Mr. Kota, who's teaching the workshops right now, I kind of tuned in for two minutes while studying to look at it. He makes maths fun, and not a lot of people can do that, right? And I also come from a Quintal II school, which is not a very great school, but I had very amazing teachers, which um, really helped in, in that end. And the workshop really enhanced the work that they did. And the OCAF Met workshops really helped gain my confidence because confidence is also a really big thing in um, approaching academics. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nasipis Same in Plumstead.